is the expert pilot and welcome to another video uh, today I'm more working on a school project but uh, that doesn't matter so what happens is uh, right here I'm going to be making a glider for physics um, this is my uh, workbench right here uh, here's the wood I'm gonna be using kind of on the middle of a train track that doesn't matter too much I'm gonna be uh, trying my very best to make a glider and we'll see how it turns out so I went over the very boring process of cutting out all the pieces. I would later put these pieces onto the wood and I would cut it. Um, I forgot to record parts of this, so this will seem sort of out of place. But um, at a certain point, I was kind of very desperate and I was wanting a lot of help. But I wasn't necessarily getting it. Here I'm cutting the wood. It wasn't an easy task at all, but I was still able to do it somehow. And I kept cutting the wood with the X-Acto knife. It was uh, very difficult. I'm not gonna lie at all but I was getting very exhausted and I did this all on the first day on the second day I forgot to record anything so um, there's my dad helping me he's helping me clean up uh, at certain points I forgot I was recording and um, I guess I'm sort of uh, by the time you're seeing this I would have magically have just put all the pieces together and it's done so I'm here on testing day um it's extremely windy. There's people in my yard doing yard work. Um, I, I, I don't think uh, the glider test will do that well. Uh, a lot is built up to this moment. I can't decide if I should throw it uh, against the wind or with the wind. Uh, this is the first year my physics class has done gliders. I don't expect this test to even turn out looking that good. I mean, th there are some very extreme wind conditions today. Okay, so I have my glider here. There's a very strong wind. You did great. Maybe I throw it like a, a, uh, sideways with the wind or something like that. All I have to do is get it to fly for two seconds. Now, I'm not certain with how that looked on camera. It flew, sort of having a bit of balance issues. I have worked an entire week on this. <laughs> it's been an entire week on this, so I'm kind of embarrassed. It's been, it really isn't the best thing I've ever made. Now, I was able to convince my mom to help me and she did it willingly, but uh, it didn't really turn out the best. I mean, she did a great job. I mean, I just didn't do the best job making my glider. And so, as you can see from all the unsuccessful attempts here, it doesn't work the best. Uh, there was the distance, and there was the time. <gasps> it landed! <gasps> so, in conclusion, what have I learned from this project? I learned about aerodynamics, and uh, I, I learned a lot about patience. That's, a, that's a, one of the more important parts about it. But, um... So after encountering my mom, um, uh, I told her that I was uh, trying to uh, do it again, even though I wasn't, but I said that and I did it again and I uh, got a new record. Um, that was about six seconds maybe. Uh, very impressive in my opinion. Uh, this project was not easy at all. I wonder if I can hit that bird. I'm gonna try to hit the bird with the glider. Come here, birdie! Come here! You want the glider? You want the glider? I'll give you the glider. Ugh. The bird ran away, but you know. Uh, I was chasing a bird! There's the bird. I, I got it, I got it, okay. It's on camera. It's on camera, I'm gonna get this bird. Maybe I need to be stealthy. Okay. I think it's on a tree. That's where most of my RC airplanes end up. In a tree. I have one that's been in a tree. It's been there for uh, about four weeks now. Uh, I climbed a 50 foot tall tree just to get my RC plane down. This one's maybe 80 feet tall. I mean, at that point when I had gotten the RC plane stuck in the tree, it wasn't worth any much anymore. I might be able to give you a quick show of it. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen too well, 
but the white thing towards the middle of the screen, that's it. This project, did it waste my time? It was kind of a waste of my time. Um, my physics teacher has made the ultimate decision probably to get rid of it though, because um, we got a bad experience with it. Obviously, we uh, did it while we were in quarantine. That's not really the best introduction to a project. So anyway, uh, the glider project, uh, it was definitely a challenge. I'm not gonna say I completely uh, completed it correctly. I definitely uh, accidentally made a couple damages to the glider. Um, that's my fault. But um, you know, today was somewhat successful and I hope it was neat. But uh, I think that'll be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. This was excellent. One last quick flight with the glider. Let's watch. I threw that with my left hand. Ooh, fancy.